Hello everyone, to start today's video out, I'm going to start with a game update. Fade's Kickstarter is launching in March. The goal is to raise 50000 so we can fund the art design of some of the missing enemies and core bosses in the game. Uh, this will maybe facilitate hiring a 3D artist or designer who's going to help with regarding uh, making sure the bosses are created, as well as making sure they're rigged to the Unreal Engine skeleton so I can animate them afterwards. Um, in conjunction with Kickstarter, I'm going to be doing giveaways leading up to its launch. This will include some of the statues I designed earlier on in development. One of the new Kickstarter reward statues I'm going to be making later on, and an Xbox One Series S at the end. Um, to join, all you have to do is follow the link in the description and join our mailing list. You can also follow the other links on the page to earn bonus entries. Now, next for the update coming to Fade today. As for some testers know, uh, Fade's mechanics have been working fine, but the frames per second on different machines haven't been either perfect or hitchy in different instances. After taking upon myself slow development to look for what's causing Causing it with some optimization, I finally found what the core crutch was. First, I'll start off with what I used to find uh, the main issues. Unreal Engine has a lot of tools for diagnosing performance issues. I'll put some of the popular useful commands up on the screen uh, for profiling your game's performance. In this scenario, though, the most useful was Profile GPU. Now, GPU Visualizer takes your game's current session and records what's costing the most MS or frame issues in your scene. Think of it as a cup that's running over. Each process or feature you have in your game has a cost, and when it you know is active and on screen, it'll display on this profiler. Now, alone, this would only tell you about your game in a single frame, which isn't the best for finding exact issues. This is why once you have GPU Visualizer up, use the command Profile GPU Hitches. Uh, this will make it so anytime your game hitches, a new GPU Visualizer tab will open and show you exactly what caused the hitch. In my case, it was MetaHuman. MetaHuman is Unreal's newest feature and definitely one of its masterworks, but but it is not the most optimized out of the box for game development, and if anything, it's it's more of a filming tool or more so for cinematics. Due to this, whenever the MetaHuman skin or hair would be cold, it would cause a drastic hit to frames per second, managing its visibility even when it's hidden. Now, of course, the remedy for this is to replace the placeholders with another placeholder. Given that the intention is to make the character creator later, though, it wouldn't really be worth it to just give you another placeholder that would kind of mislead players as to what their character is going to look like later later on in development. Uh, the player's mouth doesn't move in cutscenes and it has no vocal lines. So for now, we're just going to have the player be headless to just you know, keep that you know, consistent performance. Because as you can see in the footage, I'm playing the game on 4K with minimal frames per second drops or other dif difficulties really. Uh, there might be a slight hitch every once in a while but when fighting bosses, but I mean those are mainly just for like the one boss, which I'm still looking into it. I'm pretty sure it has to do with his behavior tree. Now, that being said, now the update for Fade should be dropping either before or after this video, depending on how fast it takes for this video to submit to YouTube, of course. I look forward to everyone's new feedback as well as adding new features with the Baltane update coming next. You'll be able to get access to the main town as well as see some of the main story in the quest. Uh, this will only be available in the paid version of the game, which the price of that should be going from $5 for the test version up to $15 to represent the gameplay. Now, thanks again for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and join me on Kofi.com if you want to support the project directly. And make sure to join in for the Kickstarter so you're up to date on when that's going to be launching in March. And thanks for watching and have a great day.